This tutorial will integrate the timer into user project wrapper in Caravel at the RTL level. Once integrated, we can start the physical implementation process using OpenLane to produce a manufacturable layout. This layout will be submitted to eFabless to be physically integrated into the Caravel chip and prepare for manufacturing using one of eFabless chip ignite shovels. The timer is a simple design that drives a multiplex seven segment display connected to some of Caravel's IO pads. The display shows the seconds on two digits and the minutes on another two digits. The timer uses Caravel's clock and recess signals for its operation. An earlier video in the series discussed the timer design details. Check it out to familiarize yourself with the design. Before we start, make sure that you created a new repository based on the Caravel user project template and clone the new repository locally and set up your development environment. Previous videos in the series provide these steps in detail. Now, navigate to the root directory for the clone project, then go to the Verilog slash RTL folder. Copy the file timer.v to this folder. You can find a link to the timer.v file in the description below. This folder already contains a user's project wrapper Verilog file, which is called user project wrapper.v. This file has a user project example Verilog module integrated in it which provides ports to interface to the user's project design with Caravo. These include interfacing ports to the IO pads, a Caravo management SOC wishbone bus slave interface port, logic analyzer ports to observe and control internal signals on the user design if needed. We can rename the user project example to user project timer as we will integrate our timer inside it. We start by deleting the module counter and its instantiation inside user project timer, which we are not going to use in our project. Also, delete the example logic that we are not going to use. Then we instantiate the module timer and connect its clock and reset ports to those of the user project timer. So the clock port is connected to WB underscore clock underscore I, and the reset is connected to WB RST underscore I. For the 7 seg 8-bit signals and the digital enable 4-bit ports, we need to connect them to 12 of the 38 Caravel I.O. pads. Every I.O. pad is associated with three ports. For example, I.O. pad number 5 is associated with the ports I.O. underscore in 5, I.O. underscore out 5, and I.O. underscore OEB 5. The IO underscore OEB controls the direction of the signal. Zero is output and one is input. IO underscore in has this data coming from outside through the IO pad if it is configured as an input path. IO out drives the IO pad when it's configured as an output. As the timer uses the IO pads to drive an external seven segment display, the 12 IO pads will be configured as output pads by connecting each IOB two zeros and connecting IO out to the timer seven segment and odd digit enable ports. IO in will be left unconnected as they are useful only when the corresponding IO pads are configured to be input. So we only need WB underscore CLK underscore I, WB underscore RST underscore I, and 12 GPIOs. So we can de delete all the remaining ports. The next step is editing the user project wrapper dot V. First, we will remove the ports that are not available in the user project timer in its instantiation. As we will be using only 12 IO pads, we decided to use IO pads 26 to 37. This selection is related to the physical location of these IO pads, which will be clarified in future videos. Now note, we cannot edit the ports on the top level of the user project wrapper as it gets connected directly in Caravel. We just use the ports we need. In the next video, we'll look at how to functionally verify the RTL model we just integrated in Caravel.